Hey everyone, Felix from Nintendo Life here, and today we're here to review Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star for the Nintendo Switch. This review was written by the stupendous Chris Scullion, but converted into video by me. So, despite what you may initially think, combining a fitness game with much-loved manga and anime series Fist of the North Star isn't the complete left-field crossover that it appears to be. In fact, it's not even the first game based on the IP that makes the player swing actual punches. Fighting Mania Fist of the North Star, a Konami arcade game where the player had to put on boxing gloves and punch six pads which would come out in various patterns. What we have here though is instead a spin-off of Imagineer's fitness boxing series, which has already had two more straightforward entries released on the Switch. The twist, naturally, is that instead of having inoffensively pleasant trainers teaching you how to jab, hook and uppercut, this time you're led through your exercises by a big anime sword with arms like cartoon hands. At first, your trainer is Kenshiro, the series' main protagonist, and a man who either has a comically tiny head or an obscenely large chest, which likely is the latter. If his words of wisdom, such as always focus on your abs, doesn't hit the spot for you, with regular play you can take off achievements which earn you fitness points, which can then be used to unlock other characters as instructors. Daily workout is this game's main mode, and it lets you set a few parameters designed to give you the type of workout you're looking for. You can choose how active you want your exercises to be, which part of the body you want to focus on, how long you want each daily routine to last, or whether you want to include stretches or turn them off. If you're the rebellious type and don't like the idea of being forced to take on a set daily routine, even if that routine is handed out by a man who looks like he could turn your ribs into soup by just blinking at them, there's also free training mode, where you can choose to take up any of the game's 30 routines with 3 intensity levels, but just keep in mind that some of these are initially locked. So far, so fitness boxing, but there's one mode that's unique to this version simply titled Battle. This lets you take on a series of enemies by performing the right type of punch to the beat, before eventually unlocking the ability to take on a more advanced enemy one on one. In fairness, it's more or less the same thing as the normal exercise routines, just presented in a more entertaining way for it to look like you're actually beating people up instead of having Kenshiro just shouting 1, 2, 3, 4 at you. Since it's still fitness boxing at its core, the issues we had with that game and its sequel still apply here, no matter how appealing the makeover is. There's still a disappointingly small selection of music to exercise to. 6 actual Fist of the North Star songs and 14 original tracks that feel suitably appropriate but are nevertheless disappointing for a series that's known for having a badass soundtrack of its own. It also still suffers from occasional instances where the game doesn't quite detect your punches, which can be a bit annoying when you're trying to get all the perfect ratings during a routine. It's your typical Just Dance syndrome, where the Joy-Con isn't capable of perfectly reading an uppercut or a hook, and so the game doesn't always register your interpretation of it. Of course, the counter-argument is that in Just Dance, it should be understood from the get-go that the movements you're expected to perform can't be accurately tracked, and the whole point of the game is simply the act of taking part, and in this case getting fit by pretending to punch anime guys in the chops. As rhythm game fans who can't relax if we can't accurately register each hit though, we say to that. Ultimately then, your mileage of fitness boxing Fist of the North Star will vary depending on parameters that are very similar to those of Imagineer's mainline entries. If you're willing to forgive the game that won't always track every punch perfectly and accept that the main point of the game is to work on your fitness and have a bit of fun doing so along the way, then this might be worth a look. Similarly, you also have to be prepared to have the sort of tolerance for repetition that most of these exercise programs require. With 20 music tracks and 30 routines to choose from, there is variety here, but given that this is something that's designed to be used on a daily basis, you're looking at a month or two before things start to feel a little repetitive. Given the relatively basic nature of the gameplay, there is an argument to be had that you could save $50 by just watching boxing fitness routines on YouTube, but if you feel like adding gamification to exercise will make you more likely to commit to it though, this is as good place to start as any even if Ring Fit Adventure, while more expensive, gives you more of a workout. Like the standard fitness boxing titles, this game is a straightforward enough exercise game that will give you a workout if you commit to it. But despite its fun tie-in, the very basic gameplay combined with the limited number of routines and sparse music selection means you're going to need a strong tolerance to repetition. We here at Nintendo Life give Fitness Boxing Fist of North Star for the Nintendo Switch a 6 out of 10. If you like this video, why don't you 
punch the subscribe button to the rhythm and don't forget to check out our website nintendolive.com for all sorts of Nintendo related content like this review but in written form. Stay safe, get in shape with some fitness games and I'll see you in the next one. Felix from Nintendo Live, out. Oh, what?